Hello there, I'm in my office at NWAC. And we are about to analyze quadratic functions. I made a special study sheet for your homework problems so that you have all the formulas you're going to need. So let's get to work. Here we are. Here is a quadratic function. Negative 2x squared minus 16x minus 25. Your first question asks you, is this function, is the graph of that function cupped up or cupped down? Well, let me show you what that means. I'm also working on my laptop, so I'm actually writing on the screen. It's a little clunky doing that. Cupped up. This is cupped. Up. And this is cupped down. Do you see where these U's, if I were really drawing, it would be a parabola, which tilts out on the left and right. But oh well, I do have a problem being a, um, an artist who draws. Nonetheless, notice where the path turns around. That's called the vertex, the vertex of the parabola. Here, the path is going up and then it's going down. The turnaround point is the vertex. Now, through the vertex goes an imaginary line. Doesn't really exist, but it serves us. It helps us um, Because in a well-drawn parabola, the parabola is doing exactly the same thing on the left and the right of that vertical line, which is called the axis of symmetry. Now notice that the vertex is the lowest point in a cupped up parabola and the highest point in a cup down parabola. All of that will come into play as we analyze our uh, quadratic functions. Now, notice that the A term is negative two. Negative two is less than zero. That's the situation we have right here. When A is negative, less than zero, your parabola is going to be cupped down like this. I don't know if you can see this, so I'll circle it. All right, so I said draw a little picture of your parabola. That's just so you'll have it to refer to. That's good enough. No, it's not. It's not really good enough. Let me erase it and try again. See, it tilts out. It doesn't really go straight up and down like a U. OK, that's better. I'm going to stick with that. The vertex is up here. It's the highest point. Now, question two. Oh yes, I need to circle, don't I? It's cup down. There we go. Now, is the vertex a minimum lowest or maximum highest point? Well, clearly, 
your vertex is your highest point. So it's your maximum point. Circle one, okay. Maximum highest point. Now what about the y-intercept? That's the easiest point to find. The y-intercept is what you get when all of the x's equal zero. So if this x is zero and this x is zero, we end up with negative 25, the constant on the end. So our y-intercept written as an ordered pair is what you get when x, all of the x's are zero. And that's negative 25. Okay, so far it's not too hard. Now we're going to actually find what point that vertex is. So let's talk about the vertex a little more. It's a very important point. So, even though it's just an XY point, like all points, we name them special names. The X coordinate is called H and the Y coordinate is called K. H has a formula right there. H equals negative B over 2A. So that means we need to know our A, B, C's. A is negative 2. And B is negative 16. All right, now I'm going to use this formula to first find H, then I'll find K. So H equals negative B, negative B over two times A. That will be negative, negative 16, over 2 times negative 2. So that will be positive 16 over negative 4. And that will be negative 4. So H is negative 4. Now I need to put K in this place right here. Here's how we find K. K is what you get when you let all of your X's equal negative four. So we'll have negative two times negative four squared. I realize here I am, yes. Writing on the screen is not easy. Oops, I need my formula though. Minus 16 times negative four minus 25. Okay, now I can scroll. Negative two times negative four squared, that's positive 16. Minus 16 times negative four, that's plus 64. Minus 25. And what is that going to be? That's going to be negative 32 plus 64 minus 25, which will be negative 32 plus 64 is positive 32 
So we'll have 32 minus 25, and that will be 7. So the K number is 7, and our vertex, this point right there, is negative 4, 7. What do you think about that? Okay, trying to find a more comfortable way to adjust this. Uh, the equation of the axis of symmetry. That's that little vertical line that goes through the vertex. The equation of the axis of symmetry is right here. X equals negative B over 2A. And negative B over 2A is H. So X equals the H number is going to be the, ac the equation of the axis of symmetry. X equals negative four. Now, number six, what is the minimum or the maximum value? Let's go back to question number two. In question two, we said that the vertex was the highest point, the maximum point. Therefore, we're going to have a maximum value for the function. The maximum value or the minimum value, if you have one, is always going to be your K number. Now, what was K? It was seven. So our maximum value is seven. That's the highest Y value reached by this graph. The rest of the graph is below seven, Y equals seven. Now state the domain of the quadratic function in interval notation. The domain of all quadratic functions is negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the entire x-axis. Now state the range. We have a cupped down parabola. So the range is going to be negative infinity to the k number and then a bracket. Well, what's the k number? Seven. Yeah, seven right there. So negative infinity to seven is the range of our function. And we're done. This sheet is going to be part of a larger sheet that you'll be completing if you're in my college algebra class. So get ready by learning it now. We'll just do another one rather than go over this one. Here we have function f of x equals 2x squared plus 14x plus 23. Look at the a number first. It's positive two. That means A is greater than zero. That means your function, your quadrat the graph of your quadratic function is cupped up like a cup of coffee. There you go. And that means the vertex is going to be down here at the bottom. So coming to question two, is the vertex a minimum, lowest, or maximum point? Lowest is minimum, 
and the vertex is your minimum point. So I'm going to circle that. That means later when you're asked about uh, what is the minimum or the maximum value, you know you're going to have a minimum value. The y-intercept is 23, or more specifically, parentheses 0, comma, 23. And now we're going to find the vertex. B is 14, and A is 2. So, H equals negative B over 2A, which will be negative 14 over 2 times 2. All right, negative 14 over 4. That will be negative 7 over 2. Now the way we find K is we set all of our X values equal to negative seven over two. So our function will be two times negative seven over two squared plus 14 times negative 7 over 2 plus 23. Now let's see. Negative 7 over 2. We have to square that before we multiply by 2. Negative times negative is positive. 7 times 7 is 49. 2 times 2 is 4. So that will be 49 over 4. Now, plus times minus is minus. That's 14 times negative 7 over 2. Uh, that's going to be, see how 2 goes into 2 one time, and then it goes into 14 7 times. So we have 7 times negative 7, which is negative or minus 49. Plus 23. And we always add and subtract left to right, so don't start jumping ahead. Now, look at this. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 goes into 4 two times. So what we're going to have is 49 over 2 minus 49 plus 20. Now I'll show you a trick. 49 over 2 is just one half of 49. So if I have half of 49 and I take away 49, I have the other half of 49 there. But it's negative, of course, because I'm subtracting 49. I've got half of 49 and I subtract all of 49. That's going to give me negative 49 over 2 plus 23. Now since my calculator isn't here, I don't think, 
Nope. Evidently, it's disappeared. I hate it when that happens. Well, I wish this would go away now. There. Okay. Oh, Wabadimu, how could you leave me? Well, whatever. We're going to have to actually pretend this is the old days and do this by hand. So I'll multiply by I'll, I'll multiply 23 by 1 in the form of 2 over 2, and that will give me negative 49 over 2 plus 46 over 2. That will give me negative 3 over 2. Negative 49 plus 46 is negative 3, but it's over 2. So negative 3 over 2. That's what our, let me write it out here, that's what our k is. So our vertex is going to be negative 7 over 2, comma, negative 3 over 2. Now that I've got my vertex, I can get all of the other information I need. Life is easy now. The equation of the axis of symmetry is going to be x equals the h number. What is our h number? Negative 7 over 2. What is the minimum or the maximum value? It's going to be K. Either way you look at it. And so K is negative 3 over 2. Notice I don't say K equals. I don't say Y equals. I just give the number negative 3 over 2. Now state the domain of the quadratic function. You can just memorize this. As long as it's a function, the domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. And now the range of the function. Well, let's see. This is a cupped up parabola. So our range for a cupped up parabola is bracket k, which is negative 3 over 2, to infinity, positive infinity. The hardest thing is finding the vertex. Hopefully we won't have a lot of other fractions, but if we do, we can live with it. All right, here we have a quadratic trinomial and the number A is negative. That means we're going to have a cupped down parabola. Cupped down. The turnaround point is the vertex, which is here. We call the vertex HK. This is the highest point, so it's a maximum point. Let me circle maximum point, maximum highest point. Now, the y-intercept is negative 16, but I have to write it as an ordered pair. 0, negative 16. That's because negative 16 is the number you get when all your x's are 0. 
So here x is 0, y is negative 16. Now the vertex, I'm going to find h. Now let's check this out. b is negative 6. A is negative 1. So we're going to have negative B over 2A, and that will give us negative, negative 6 over 2 times negative 1, which will be positive 6 over negative 2, and we'll have negative 3. So negative 3 is our H number. Now we'll find K. Oops. No, it's not going to work. K equals negative 1 times negative 3 squared minus 6 times negative 3 minus 16. Okay. Negative 1 times positive 9 minus 6 times negative 3 will be plus 18 minus 16. So that will be negative 9 plus 18 is positive 9 minus 16 is negative 7. So negative 7 is our K. And we have H and K. Now the axis of symmetry is H. X equals H. You have to have the X there. X equals H. That's the equation of a vertical line. Let me erase the H. And our h is negative 3. So x equals negative 3 is the equation of the axis of symmetry. And our minimum or maximum value is always the k number, so whatever k is, negative 7. But I should have specified circle which one. We have a maximum, a maximum value. The highest value is negative seven. Now state the domain of the quadratic function. Negative infinity to positive infinity. That's the entire X axis. No problems with quadratic functions. I love them. State the range of the quadratic function. Well, what have we got again? We've got a maximum point. We've got a cup down parabola, though. That's the important point. We've got a cup down parabola. Cup down, right here. Let's circle it. So negative infinity to our k number and then a bracket. Our k number is negative 7. So there you go. Remember that's the y's. Here's negative 7. And it goes down from there all the way to negative infinity. But we always write range from lowest 
to highest. So the range is the Y coordinates that make up all the points on the graph. All right, x squared minus 14x plus 40. This is a positive 1. x squared. Now, positive is a greater than 0. So we will have a cupped up parabola. And there's our vertex down there. So hk. is going to be a minimum point. So is the vertex a minimum or a maximum? It's a minimum point. There's a difference, a little difference between a minimum point and a minimum value. The minimum point in this case is HK. The minimum value is going to be whatever k is. Okay, let's find the y-intercept. It's 40 with a zero in front because all of the x's equal zero. Now the vertex is going to be h equals negative b over 2a, where b is negative 14, and a is positive 1. So we're going to have negative, negative 14 over 2 times 1, that'll be 14 over 2, which is 7. So h is 7. Now k is going to be x squared minus 14x plus 40 with a 7 put in for all the x's. 7 squared minus 14 times 7 plus 40. So that's going to be 49. 7 times 7 is 49. Minus 7 times 4 is 28. That'll be 98. Minus 98 plus 40. 49 minus 98 is negative 49. So negative 49 plus 40 is negative 9. Our vertex is 7 comma negative 9. Since our h is 7, the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals 7. Now, the minimum or maximum value really doesn't matter. It's going to be k, so negative 9. State the domain of the quadratic function negative infinity to infinity. And we have, I have to look back and see, we have a cupped up parabola. Cupped up. Right over here, cupped up. So our, um, the range is going to start at k, y equals k, and go up forever to positive infinity. Bracket k, k is 7, or negative 9, 
k is negative 9. Up forever. Really is negative 9. Okay. Let's do one more. That's all there is anyway. Again, we're going to have a cupped up parabola because the leading coefficient is positive. Cupped up. Makes me want a cup of coffee. We drew our picture. Is the vertex a minimum? You bet it is. A minimum lowest point. And the y-intercept is negative 2 with a 0 in front. Now the vertex. Let's write this down over here. Um, why don't I write the whole thing again? x squared minus x minus 2, because I'll need it. I hate having to scroll back up. A is 1. B is negative 1. The vertex is negative B over 2A. So negative, negative 1 over 2 times 1 will be positive one half. K will be squared minus minus two. So this is going to be one half squared minus one half minus 2. Uh, 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth minus 1 half minus 2 equals 1 fourth minus 1 half is negative 1 fourth minus 2. So that's going to be negative one-fourth plus negative two is negative two and a quarter. Of course, I can't give an answer like that, not in algebra, but I can now calculate my answer easily. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. This will be negative nine-fourths. So we'll put it up here, negative nine-fourths. That's the K for our vertex. The equation of the axis of symmetry is X equals one half. What is the minimum or maximum value? It's always the K number, which is negative nine fourths. Now state the domain of the quadratic function. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Negative infinity to infinity. No complications there. And state the range of the quadratic function. We have a cupped up parabola right over here. So that will be bracket K, negative 9 fourths, Two positive infinity. On the last. All right, we are done. Study this, learn it, not just for this class, but for college algebra, which is looming over you like a Halloween ghost or zombie. 
Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.